Hi, welcome to SEW's Innovation Lab. My name is Conrad Carrillo. I'm the business manager for Max Solution System Sales for SEW Canada. So the whole emphasis behind Innovation Lab is to showcase advanced manufacturing techniques that SCW utilizes within its own factories around the world to assemble our product. Uh, it also serves as a means of showcasing industry 4.0 ready technology that's available today. On this screen, we're trying to showcase that we can do single batch orders, which allows us to be very flexible in a real advanced manufacturing environment. You need to react to customers' demands for highly customizable products. These AGVs are here to collaborate with the assembly technician in order to streamline the manufacturing process. Uh, we call them cobots because they coexist with their human counterparts. So instead of a robot trying to replace a worker, they coexist together. So it's all about the collaboration of humans and robots. So the value add uh, of the manufacturing process is done by the worker while the monotonous or sometimes labor intensive or hazardous tasks are being performed by the cobot. In this case, Bianca is being recharged on the fly constantly by inductive charging. This is SCW's Movitrans. It looks very similar to uh, charging puck. So it's kind of like your iPhone where you're putting your iPhone directly on a puck and you're recharging it. The charging pucks employ supercapacitor technology in order to provide contactless charging for AGVs on the go. So this is one of our safety scanners. They're mounted on opposite corners of the vehicle. So the vehicle has 360 uh, degree field of vision and safety. This is communication by light. This is how the cobot communicates with its human counterparts. So you can see uh, when the vehicle is being charged, what the charging state is. Uh, with this panel here, you can see if there is an object in the track, um, if the vehicle is uh, processing an order, if it's being charged, what the localization is, what the battery um, um, charging state is, and if it's got a working Wi-Fi. So this is SEW's contactless energy transfer called Movitrans X. It's our second generation. It's completely decentralized, has a high IP enclosure, so it can be directly mounted on the factory floor instead of being enclosed in a cabinet. Basically what it is is inductive recharging of cobots while they go through the process so they're not being taken offline and plugged into a stationary charger, for example. Uh, they're being recharged through a 30 millimeter air gap uh, via puck inside the ground which is embedded along the process or along the movement of the vehicle. This is our assembly module where the vehicle would come in and it would acknowledge that it has a running order. The smart racking has a pick by light system. The pick by light system uses visual cues in order to guide the technician in assembling the correct ordered product and reduces errors in the manufacturing. It would display to the worker which components he needs to pick. Each individual component would require a very specific fastener. We would light up which two the assembler would select with the mating bit, and he'd choose the right screw for that process. So for example, if we're assembling a car, it will show, yeah, pick my transmission, pick my clutch, pick my pedals, and the uh, assembler would acknowledge that he has picked the right component by unselecting the part that he has picked. So he turns off the pick by light, uh, and that way we um, reduce any uh, assembly errors. Tools have a preset torque setting, so you can't over screw and damage the component while you're assembling it. So this is our uh, test module. So once the product gets fully assembled and the cobot brings it to the test module, we have a five axis pick and place Delta robot. A five axis robot takes the product and tests it before it goes out for shipping. It's got some sophisticated vision systems to be able to pick up the part even if the part is skewed. The robot arms are being controlled and driven by SEW technology. We have our servo motors and our planetary gearheads that are being controlled by our motion controllers inside the panel. 
So the entire kinematics is being done by SCW Mechanics and SCW Software. And then the product passes quality, uh, the robot will put that back on the cobot and the cobot will carry the finished product onto the packaging and shipping module. The product that we are assembling inside our innovation lab is actually featured inside this panel. So it's driving the uh, pick and place delta robot. So we have our multi-axis servo inverter, our motion controller that is responsible for the kinematics inside the Delta robot, as well as the safety PLCs, all assembled within this laboratory, basically being used to drive the laboratory itself. Thank you for visiting the SCW Innovation Lab. If you have any questions regarding our technology or the lab itself, please feel free to contact SCW or drop by the Barrett Centre for Technology Innovation. At this point, I would like to invite you to come to the SCW Humber Collaboration Lab, where SCW and Humber students work together on developing and testing new concepts and application-driven custom AGB tooling. Thanks for coming by and checking out our lab.